Hi, this is Sophia Carmen, host of the Dream Big Podcast Show, the place to learn, laugh, and grow. Today, I will be sharing the essential skills you will need for your life to have the best. Today, we're going to tell you a story that actually showcases that skill. And, and made my day that was potentially terrible, I turned it into a great one. This is episode 305, and you know what time it is. It's time to dream big. Welcome to the Dream Big Podcast Show. We're inspiring you to shoot for the moon, take aim and go. We bring to you amazing guests who truly love what they do. Every day they're living their dreams, and so can you. Dream big, take action to reach your goals. Are you pumped yet? It's showtime, let's run. Before I reveal the skill that I want you to focus on, I want you to hear one of my favorite quotes. Life is not about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the rain. I love this quote. I wanted to tell you a quick story of how mom and me turned what could have been an absolutely terrible day into one of the best days. So the story happened in our favorite place, probably on Earth, Hawaii. And in previous episodes, we told you about how we moved there for one month. So one of our activities was going on hikes. And there was beautiful hike that me and Sophia wanted to go on. And we wanted to make it a mother-daughter date. But we were waiting for great weather because it was kind of stormy, it was rainy before, and then one day we woke up and the weather report showed absolutely gorgeous day. No rain supposed to happen, and we wanted to be very dry because the hike was very steep, and we just wanted to make sure we were safe. So the day came, it looked absolutely perfect. So me and my mom drive to the hike... And we were amazed of the beauty and everything. So the trees were so green and we even saw a couple of roosters around and there other are birds. A lot of roosters in Hawaii. Pink and red and blue birds. Yeah. So so I was found a tree branch that I wanted to hang on. So I did. And that was super fun. Sevilla was swinging on the tree branches and we were climbing the trees, trying to find the perfect path. It was pretty steep hill, but we didn't mind it because the grounds were dry. It wasn't dangerous. It wasn't dangerous. And we knew we were going to go and have fun in this absolutely gorgeous, beautiful day. Yeah. So everything was perfect and we were so happy. And I love spending time with my mom, as I mentioned. And then... Unexpectedly... Rain. All of a sudden. Rain. From nowhere. Rain! It was like almost a storm, and we were not ready for it at all. We were in short sleeves. We didn't even have a hat on. So, I got creative. And the path got muddy, so it became dangerous to keep going. But we really wanted to see the views. We really wanted to keep going. So, in my way of doing it, I made us little hats. And I told to go a little bit off and into the grass. So, we wouldn't get ourselves dirty and wet. The leaves were so big that Sophia said, Mom... While it's raining, why don't we become like little fashionistas and create like a... fashionistas. No? No, I said umbrellas, Mom. Oh, umbrellas. I'm sorry. (laughs) But then we said, well, umbrellas look like hats. Why don't we create a fashion show of hats? Actually, I said that. (laughs) But... I collected leaves, and I bundled them together with a vine, and 
the vine was long enough that I could put it around my head. And I made one for mom. So umbrellas quickly became hats, and we pretended like we were sitting in a Queen's Garden somewhere in England <laughs> and having a five o'clock tea. Five o'clock? So meanwhile, the rain, rain was pouring, we were so wet, we had this silly leaves on our heads, <laughs> pretending we were in, in Queen's Garden. No, that was because everything was dripping on our heads, so... <laughs> We But had to make umbrellas. What happened next, Sophia? And then when we were playing, all of a sudden, the rain stopped. Yes, in Hawaii, rain comes and goes. And um, even if it's going to be a pouring rain, it, will, it can stop. Yeah. But I didn't even notice how many minutes passed by. It could be 10, 15, or 20. We had so much fun. So after the rain stopped... Uh, my mom was telling me a story when we were hiking up about her childhood and her childhood stories. I remember how we were collecting leaves and how much fun it was and how we would put them in between um, books and they would dry up. And then in a few years, we would find them and they would bring back memories. So this way, it was really fun quality time. Uh, between me and Sophia, where I could share a bit of my childhood and she could create her own memories. And we didn't even mind the rain, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in, spite of, in spite of everything and the muddy path, we kept going. Yeah, and then we saw the most amazing view. It was ocean view on the entire island. It was beautiful. The skies cleared and we could see the blue ocean and the waves crashing in the far distance. And we saw beautiful flowers. We sat down and we had a little picnic after the rain. And even though we were so wet and muddy. Even the benches were wet. <laughs> yes. We really, really enjoyed that spot. Just imagine, Sophia, if we turned around and got so upset about the rain, would we enjoy our muddy conversations, muddy feet, muddy conversations, five o'clock tea, five beautiful tea. view? <laughs> yes, we wouldn't have did that. We would have just said, Let's turn around, Mom. And you said, sure, baby. You know, a lot of times in life, you have perfect opportunity and you think everything should be perfect, but it's not. And then when that happens, just make sure that you turn whatever you have in front of you into a beautiful opportunity to spend time with your family and really learning how to dance in the rain, yes. even if it's stormy. Yeah, that was literally in the expression. I'm sure many families would turn back and down the mountain and maybe were devastated that they could not have the perfect opportunity um, that they got under the rain. But me and Sophia, we created a lifetime memory. Mom, I'm so glad that you and Dad taught me how to go with the flow. Big dreamers, remember... Life will never go perfectly according to plan. You'll always have twists and turns, and that's okay. You got this, no matter what challenge life throws at you. Think about how you can turn negative into positive. Think on the bright side, big dreamers. Everything, everything will go according to plan when you do that. We ended up having one of the best days that I personally can remember. Learn to go with the flow, right, Sophia? Yes, that is very important. And whatever you're in the storm or, for that matter, whatever you may go. Life is not about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the rain. As always, Big Dreamers, thanks for listening. Be sure to check out show notes at dreambigpodcast.com slash 305 
And if you enjoyed this episode, it would mean the world to us if you take a moment to leave a review on iTunes at dreambigpodcast.com slash iTunes. It really does make our day to hear from you. You can also write us email uh, to olga at dreambigpodcast.com and say hi to Sophia. She's uh, really working hard on this podcast and continuing the legacy that Eva started. Now we'll- I know how Eva feels. Now we also want to bring back Eva with guests as well. So please let us know who would you like to invite on the Dream Big podcast. Maybe you have favorite author Other or or something like that. Doctors maybe. or uh, who else? Maybe entertainers. Like, maybe even like somebody from our family. Yes, or our friends, or first personal friends, movie stars, or anyone. We would like to hear your suggestions and bring more guests to interview. And that's all for this episode. As always, thank you so much for turning into the Dream Big Podcast. This is Sophia Cartman reminding you that you have unlimited potential. Your dreams are not optional. You need to make them essential. So take massive action and turn those dreams into reality. Live with passion the way life was meant to be. See you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.